And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube uh, for a donation deck day. We're going to be going with some viewer submitted lists here. This one is going to be our first one up. We're going to be playing new Scythria for the first time. We have Spooky Scythria. We got a Shadow Isles deck with Scythria Lady of Clouds. So now Scythria is going to be a 10 mana card. Um, also 10 mana, 10, 10 elite with Challenger, and when I'm summoned, double all allies' power and health and grant them Challenger. Um, so that's permanent double for any of the allies in play. That's what that, that allies mean. And so we're going to be combining that with Spectral Matron, where Spectral Matron can put the Scythria um, from, your, from your hand into play, um, you know, make an ephemeral copy of it, then you'll still have your other Scythria you're going to be able to play after that. <laughs> so we have that combo going on here. And then besides that, we just got a bunch of good Shadow Isles stuff, right? Like the kind of early Shadow Isles cards. We're going to be playing Oblivious Islander that can grant an ally in hand Ephemeral and reduce its cost by one. That could work out really well with something like Curse Keeper. But it's also going to be great with reducing the cost of these cards because they cost a lot of mana. Eight, ten. You know, so if we have one of those in hand, we'll be able to use Oblivious Islander to reduce that cost. Um, then we're, since we're going to have a, a decent amount of things die, we have like a lot of ways to like kill our own units. And so we'll be maybe leveling up Lucian because Lucian's a pretty cool champion for doing that. We'll have Stalking Shadows be able to help find our combo with the Spectral Matron and the Scythria or just like other little things, whatever we want. Stalking Shadows can find like Oblivious Islander, which then we can play two Islanders and reduce the cost of one of these by two. That could be pretty nice. Radiant Guardian in here just doing its thing, uh, blocking against Sand Soldiers and stuff. And Remembrance should be, uh, the cost reduction on Remembrance should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and give this a try. We even have this new epic, also the Wings and the Wave, where you get to choose which one you want, if you want the Wings or the Wave. No, you don't even get to choose the Wings. You have to choose Last Wind. That's not the Wings, that's a Wind. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to go play our five games in ranked with Spooky Scythria starting us off. Okay, Sejuani Renekton. Those are some big things. Okay, we'll get rid of we'll get rid of Matron without having Scythria. Alright, cool. Perfect. I was gonna say I could see them playing Rock Hopper, and so now that I have basically now that I have Fading Icon, it's gonna be like easier for me to have things units die, and so it's, I think it's gonna be easier to have Remembrance in a little bit. So I decided not to necessarily play it right there. Lucian's going to have Vulnerable forever. Okay. I kind of felt like they had a... How they... They just attacked their 4-3 into my 3-1, which is pretty weird. So I honestly kind of figured that they had... A combat spell of their own. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Why don't I just play Remembrance here? Sure is dark, eh? As I live, all will die. Oh, I gotta choose something for this. I don't want to choose anything for that. Oh, that's bad. So I was gonna play I was gonna play this, then attack with this also, and have this, you know, this is ephemeral, this dies. <clears throat> and then I play Redeemer. Like that's my plan. Okay, so I, I didn't do that that turn very well. That was not a good turn by me. I really should have just played a, a Remembrance last turn. Like that, that would have been a lot better turn than all the stuff that I did. Virtue 
Watching. Kind of planning on having cheap. Let's see what's out there. <clears throat> cheap remembrance this turn. We have a bunch of things die. Yeah, so that's that's the card they had whenever they attacked with their four three. That if I if I would have saved Lucian, um, they had that card. It's gonna be three mana. Hmm. Not cheap enough remembrance, unfortunately, to play two of them. So close. I want to play two of those. We can only play one. Pain is nothing. Sejuani's good. Do I just kill that and draw two? This does like save a lot. Like these, this is so much overwhelm. Yeah, it is five HP to protect Nexus, but it also it levels up Renekton, so that's a problem. And now, you know, now like attacking with Renekton against Spirit Leech is not very good. Obviously, they have another Renekton. They had a very good hand. Doesn't really matter what I block. Alright, so we're definitely playing one Remembrance. Then am I playing the other Remembrance or this Redeemer? Next round, we're going to have eight mana, so this would be six, seven, eight, nine. So I wouldn't be able to do all three of those together. I think we'll probably just play the other Remembrance. We don't. It doesn't matter if our next draw is Sithria, right? Like, I guess I could. I guess I could hold on to Spectral Matron for that, but I. I feel like I kind of need to kill my opponent this round. Um, I'm considering going like Matron plus. You know, or Mat Matron put the leech into play, and then we have the four attackers where they got to do like some blocking. I could just att could attack with a scout. That just gives them more time to play more blockers. If I do Matron plus Spirit Leech, then I have like you know like they only have time to play one blocker. This, of course, helps out, like, Vanguard Redeemer. We didn't play anything. So I want to play Matron right now, but, yeah, we could play, like, Redeemer, maybe draw Scythria from Redeemer, and next round be able to play Mat Matron plus Scythria, but I don't know if, you know, if they just open attack, we're maybe dead. Remember the Fallen. Didn't work. Yeah, that was that did not work. I should have played Matron. Well, I guess I gotta hope they don't have any combat spells. That plus three, plus one they had, and then the Renekton one, those were pretty rough. Um. Okay, well that that works. We killed that thing. That's good. Pass. No, they had the third Renekton. Oh, 
They had a really good hand. Okay, Twisted Zillion. This is going to have lots of card draw. Find the time bombs. I bet this deck's going to be pretty good. I like this opener. Could see getting rid of the Spirit Leech. I'm keeping Cythria, though. I'm going to keep it. It makes a lot of our other cards better if we find them. Or just a couple, you know, Spectral Matron and the Oblivious Islander. I'm playing Lucian. Push back the darkness. A deal in coins and carnage. <laughs> Our poor Lucians are just always so vulnerable. With all these merciless hunters and hired guns running around. Alright, they found Zillion. If we can undo what has been done. We can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. So right now we have the attack token on odd turns. So that's not good for Spectral Matron. We play in build rules, son. I've trained my whole life for this. I'm always up for a round or two. Who says I don't share? So if I attack out. Two three two three blocks four two four two one two blocks three one. They take three. I right, mean, I guess they could just even have their one four block three one. Not even a good attack. So unfortunately, we only have units. We don't have any kind of interaction. I can't stop this Twisted Fate from leveling up. Kind of can't play anything. Yeah. This is not a good hand. The kind of good news is they're they're full on the board, right? So if they want to play more things, that they have to just replace stuff. So not attacking in and not letting things trade. So Zillion's going to be leveled up. My selection speaks for I don't really envision us winning this, but we'll have to see how good Sithria, you know, maybe if we can get to Sithria. Radiant Guardian could do some work. Banish the unworthy. Not my first gun fight. They did a great job finding time bombs. It's not always very easy. We saw yesterday, you know, like we played some Zillion with Shadow Isles with all card draw and we couldn't find any time bombs. So it's not an easy thing to do. Please. 
double their power and health, so this O1 is just turned into an O2. <laughs> I guess I could sharp side it first. And then it'll just turn into like a 2 3 normally. Now this game's heating up. I don't know, should I sharp sight this thing first? Probably not. No, no. Alright, so they do have leveled up Sith leveled up Twisted Fate, but what's their plan against Sithrias? I wouldn't mind this O2 dying, I guess, because then I'm, I'm gonna need another spot next round for Matron plus Sithria again. Yes, now all of our units have Challenger. Prepare yourselves, soldiers. I could definitely see them using, like, Merciless Hunter Challenge Fading Icon. Oh, challenge that. Yeah, I love that. Blue as the serpentine. Do that. We'll get our legs in. Yeah, I was like, what do you do? What's it's like, what's the plan of that attack? Perfect. That was exactly what we wanted. I'm a people person. What was that card they just played? Stalking Shadows? Okay, so that, they took Stalking Shadows from me with Black Market Merchant. Um, they have 24 cards in their deck. I also have 24. Okay, the Spectral Matron Cythria definitely looks really powerful after you played Radiant Guardian, Radiant Guardian. Is everyone okay? <laughs> looks pretty powerful. Blue as the serpent. Okay, so I... If I would have used the sharp sight. Strike for justice. Okay, let's see. So we'll have you block the biggest thing. Because the biggest thing is going to get gold carded, right? So, like, we're going to have that block the biggest thing. And then we'll have you. Clear the way. Challenge over here. I guess it's just both of those and just try to have the, the two 16 power things kill them. If, if either one of those hit, Stand they die. Oh, I guess, yeah, that was a bad challenge. I should have my 4-3 challenge, the 12-2, and then this thing's fearsome. No, because they just blocked this. Oh, yeah, they just blocked one of these over here. So, yeah. All right, that works. Back to the skies, Knights of Demacia. That'll do. Ooh. All right, so that was really cool. That was, that showed the power of, that's why we play three Cythrias and three Spectral Matrons. Because, yeah, that, that looked really powerful. Okay, so we're going to Mulligan, Spirit Leech, and I guess we just keep Cythria again? No, we're playing against this deck. We probably can't keep Cythria either. Mulligan both of those. Yeah, so the Radiant Guardian is definitely going to be necessary. Don't get in my way. Burn away the shadows. So am I making Matron cost one less? Let's see. I do have the attack token on the odd turns. What am I doing with you, Wings in the Wave? Sure is dark, eh? you should really so discounting the Matron so we can have it on turn 7 when we attack. I'm just not sure what I'm doing with this thing. I guess I'm gonna... Like, do I just... I guess I just make two O1s.
Oh, fading icon. Every blade, every beat in its place. So much damage. Perfect. Yes, yeah, we're really about to be leveled. Having another radiant guardian for next round. I fight for the fallen. My sword is yours to command. Banish the unworthy. Bring in the heat. For our allies. It's all in the wrist, see? Definitely feels like retreat, right? Like they're gonna block and then retreat. It's like the worst possible block. Oh, homecoming, that's even worse. I should have passed. Ugh, should have passed. That's what I was kind of debating on, of whether or not it was worth attacking or just go to the next round. Oh, I should have gone to the next round. Our proudest days remain ahead. Man, yeah, I should have gone to the next round. Oh, I just passed the turn. I'm doing a lot better. It wasn't enough. Any, anybody else? Alright, Zir Darius. Let's see how we do against another very fast, aggressive deck. I'll get rid of Butcher. It's probably going to be going turn 3 Remembrance again. So we gotta take some extra damage, but I really like getting that thing out of here. Gonna play this right now. Get a fourth blocker. 
That's a great blocker. Everything's in place. That's a great blocker. Hey, what's that? Stand and fight. Hmm. So that's nine. Go here, it's also nine, but then they get to attack with that thing to deal a point of damage. Let's go this route. I'm, I'm too worried about taking more damage with Decimates. Looks like they have a Noxion Fervor. Going to go ahead and attack with both of those. That's only nine. Ready. Don't love just using stalking shadows right here. Damn it. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. So I'm gonna have to save the spell mana for the remembrance. Does three to me. I guess either way, this does three to me. But in case of a buff spell, this does a little bit better job of making sure that Ruin Runner is dead. Today we turn the tide of war. Yeah. We're we're close in a lot of these games, but just not really quite working out for us. The Yeah. So we have the attack token on the odd turns. I'm keeping the three on the right. It's the Islander that I'm not sure about, and I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan him. You know, we could play you know, we do get to play Islander on the first round, but there's none of these that I really want to just make ephemeral. You know, second round we'll go fading icon ravenous butcher and have a three one and a three two. No blocks. Because I want no blocks, because then if they go no blocks, and then next round we'd have both of these units die, then Remembrance would cost four mana next round, and we could you know, have Remembrance next round. It's all good, Monkey Storm. Yeah, this is our normal normal stream time. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. That's right. Run! I cannot go. All right. So am I going Remembrance or Spirit Leech? I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. Been a very aggressive day so far today. We played, you know, with our four games, we played one non aggro deck. That was our one win. This land is ours. A lot of damage. I fight for the fallen. You will be scoured from this land. Let's see, one one. Banish the unworthy. So ideally I'd play Oblivious Islander on the Curse Keeper and then attack with the Curse Keeper, and then it would die. Also like you know, attack also with the Curse Keeper, so then it dies, so then I remembrance. 
Um, but the, the problem with that is it gives them the opportunity to play like a bigger blocker for this Radiant Guardian, and I kind of need this Radiant Guardian to get a good attack in. But we're definitely struggling against Renekton plus lots of combat spells. We had this kind of matchup earlier, which was the same kind of thing, just Renekton and a whole bunch of combat spells. I can't I can't have vulnerable stuff with Renekton. Well let's see, okay, if I sacrifice with no, that's still I can't play Remembrance. I would have been playing Remembrance here this turn this round if it wasn't for the Rock Hopper, but with the Rock Hopper then I went this route. Stop. Ugh. Le that levels up Renekton. Dang, I can't I can't do one damage to that thing. Let's hope for another Radiant Guardian. Oh dear. Yeah, we're just going to play two Remembrance. I can... I can get a 3-3 three, three in play also if I want to give something Ephemeral and play two Remembrance. I can play two Remembrance and a 3-3. Three, three. That doesn't really seem worth it. Maybe that is worth it. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the, the two... So yeah, it's either I could draw and like maybe we draw Radiant Guardian. Oh, I can't even play Radiant Guardian though. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, yeah, let's just go double Remembrance. Um, it's just what would I? Because I could give something Ephemeral and then I go the Last Wind and sacrifice the two one, and then we still double Remembrance. So I guess that's going to be this card because that's that's just the least valuable card in my hands. The reason to do this, and it took a little while for me to figure out if I wanted to do this or not, but the reason to do this is because if we just top deck Cythria, then we have another 3-3 body in play for our Spectral Matron. Even if we don't, we have another 3-3 body for open attacking. Now I have two good blockers with the Calvary and the Matron. I have two good blockers against an open attack. We will not hesitate. And we're also attacking for a whole lot. Making it so like they can't just only block with the 3-1. They have to block with the 5-2. And so I guess that, that was the good reason to put this 3-3 into play. So this is 6 plus 8, so 14 Overwhelm. I could block 6 of it with the Calvary. And then, yeah, we can block the other 8. So, yeah, we can stay alive there. And we got the game. Okay, so there was our spooky Scythrian deck. Ended up going 2 and 3. Faced a whole lot of very aggressive decks. And it was um, you know, kind of difficult for us to stabilize in some of the matchups. The Radiant Guardians did very well, um, but kind of need they needed a little bit more help 
Um, I was really impressed with Spectral Matron plus Cythria. That was really, really impressive. Um, yeah, that, that really was. Now, the thing that I honestly wasn't impressed with was actually the Oblivious Islander. This card, um, I, I did take it like the one time with the Stalking Shadows. You know, I had that really bad, like that was a, a bad round, like the turn four, the one game, like it was like the first or second game. Um, but just in general, reducing the cost of these didn't, didn't seem as necessary. And I just wanted a more impactful card. Like, that's the one thing that would change about this, this deck is getting rid of that and getting, getting some kind of card that, um, you know, could play better offense and defense and, and just do more. I'm not sure. You know, there, there's millions of options. I, I don't know exactly what card to put in, but I, I would be replacing that. I, I didn't feel like waiting until turn eight was that big a deal with the, with the spectral matron. It didn't seem like that, that, that helped out too much. Um, but just having like another like interaction spell maybe would be nice. Um, you know, like a, like a single combat or something, or, you know, I don't know, maybe playing Senna to go along with Lucian or just playing an, actually, I would just play another champion. You know, ch the champions in this game are amazing. That's what I would do is I would just play like, I would just play Thrash, get that in here or Garen. I would just play something like that instead of this Oblivious Islander. I think that's going to be a lot better card. Yeah. Like, like Thrash would be really nice. Yeah. That's what I do. So that was the card that was really disappointing to me. Um, but besides that, everything else looked pretty good. Uh, cool little deck here. And I guess Th Thrash and Radiant Guardian are kind of on the same spot of the curve. So you could go with, like, Callista instead. It's not on that same spot of the curve. Yeah, Callista works. Still helps out, like, your Shadow Isles attacking and everything. And, and this is just another, kind of like Lucian, like, Callista is just another card that would, like, slow opponents down. As they're like, oh man, I gotta deal with Callista. And try to kill your Callista. Um, when it's not really even that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, let's go Callista. Alright, but that's gonna be it here for Spooky Cythria. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Cythria with Spectral Matron. Or other ideas to use Cythria. Um, Monday is going to be Meme Tier Day. And I am planning on building an all Cythria deck for meme tier day. We got a donation to build one of those. So we're going to be playing a deck with um, every single Cythria in it. So that'll be exciting. So watch for that on Monday if you want to see some more Cythria. But that's going to be it here for Spooky Cythria. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.